welcome to my channel this is grace manzi in the video today i'll be showing you how to make a pinafore dress it's a gathered skirt with a bib and two straps as simple as that before we get into the video i just want to say thank you so much to the subscribers of this channel to all those who watched my videos the wonderful comments thank you so much and may god richly bless you if you are watching me for the first time, today is your day. Just give this video a thumbs up. Also hit the notification bell and use the comment section below to say what you think about this video, okay? Right, let's get straight into the video. You are going to need some pins, a tape measure, a chalk, a fabric, a pair of scissors, and some interfacing for the waistband. Measurements required are just your skirt length and your waistline measurement. The thing you are going to do is to multiply your waistline measurement by two or by three if you want a very full skirt in terms of gathers. I'm going to multiply mine by two and I get uh, 36 by two, I get 72, okay? And I divide that so I, I should have 36 here, right? Because I have folded the fabric in half. That is a folded end, okay? But because I'm going to cut this end so that I end up with two pieces, one for the back and one for the front, I've got to, to include two more inches for sewing allowance. So I have 38 inches here, okay? From here, today I've got 38 inches so I'm going to cut out the fabric along this line here okay it's easier for me because the pattern on my fabric has already got some straight lines for me so I'm going to cut it out from that line here. the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the length of my skirt minus the waistband width I'm going to put a waistband which is Two inches wide. So I'm going to subtract the two inches from my skirt length, which is 28 inches. So I'll remain with 26 inches, okay? And then I'm going to add sewing allowance plus hem allowance, okay? So in my case, as you can see, my fabric is specially patterned. So I would rather cut it along this line here, which is at 29 inches. And I'll take note of that when I'm doing the hem of the skirt, okay? So, for example, if I have put on the, the waistband here, I'm going to end up with 32 inches, but I want 28. So I'm going to subtract the 4 inches, so it means I'm going to have a very big hem of 3 to 4 inches, which is okay for this type of skirt, right? So I'm going to cut along this line here. I'm going to measure the distance between my bra straps here, okay? So, in my case here, I've got 12 inches, okay? And then I'm going to measure from that end to where the waistband ends here, okay? So that's 12 inches again. So I'm going to cut out a, a 12 by 12 inch plus sewing allowance. So I'm going to make it 13 by 18 inches so I'm going to measure that and make two pieces of the same measurement so that's my big done okay which is 13 inches by 
13 inches okay so now I have my skirt cut out the waist bend cut out as you can see okay right I also have the bib which is two pieces 13 by 13 inches and these are the straps okay there are two of them you have to determine how wide you want your straps to be right as you can see the width of my strip here is six inches right if i fold it right like that i'm going to get three inches so if i subtract half an inch sewing allowance my strips are going to be two and a half inches wide okay if they are 26 inches long that is the distance from where the bra strips start at the front all the way diagonally to the back on the left if you start in measuring from the uh, right front you measure you put your tape measure all the way down to the left back okay if you are starting from the right from the left front you measure from the left front all the way to the right back okay i hope you understand what i mean because the belts are going to cross at the back okay so that's it for now and um, as for cutting out that's all what you need i'm going to put interfacing on the um, waist bend and um, then i'll start sewing i'll show you how to do it now the right side facing of your fabric start by joining the back and front of your skirt okay and then on one side leave about seven inches in order to insert the zip okay so that's what i'm going to do now after doing the side seams the next thing i'm going to do is to attach the zip on the open side of the skirt okay so that's what i'm going to do attach the zip on there the next thing you are going to do is to put a, a line of a gathering stitch on the waistline of the skirt uh, to do that you you have to use the longest stitch on your sewing machine and also make sure to mark the midpoint of the front and back of your skirt as i have done mine you are going to need this when you pull your gathers also to match with your waist bend okay okay after putting on um two lines of gathering stitch some people are comfortable with one i always prefer two the next thing you are going to do is to start pulling the gathers okay i always pull them from the wrong side so i hold the two threads together okay like that then i start pulling okay can you see the gathering up starting to form here okay now this is where the midpoint mark is where the pin is so from here to that pin it's supposed to be my waistline measurement divided by four so it's when i get to nine inches pulling this quarter here my gathers are evenly distributed that way so that would be nine there okay nine from here to that seam as well as the same on the other side of the uh, skirt so in the end i'll have 36 inches west line of gatherings and which are also evenly distributed okay so that's what i'm going to do now before i attach the waist bit as you can see the skirt is starting to take some shape the gathers are done now okay now i'm just going to go ahead and attach the waist bit okay um, if you want to know how to attach the waist bit just watch my previous video okay and uh, so many others have done so many skirts so what I'm going to do next is just to attach the waist bend onto my skirt. Now the skirt is done as you can see. The next thing you are going to do is to get your straps, okay? Right. Turn, turn them to the wrong side, okay? This is the wrong side. Right. The next first thing you are going to do is to stitch 
all the way down using half an inch sewing allowance okay okay once you have stitched your strap like that the next thing you are going to do is to bring this seam in the middle like that you are still in the wrong side of your um, strap right and then just go ahead and stitch here okay still using half an inch seam allowance do the same with the other strap okay once the stitching is done next thing you are going to do is to trim the corners okay right trim the corners okay i'm going to use a pen so or, or a pencil right so all you do is just put the pencil there and then um, make sure everything is turned back to the right side like this So the next thing you're going to do is just to give it a good press so that it's nice and flat. Do the same with the other belt. Now for the bib, just get the two pieces together with right side facing and then go ahead and stitch the three sides of the pieces using half an inch sewing around. Okay, once you have stitched the three sides, the next thing you want to do is to trim the corners as well, okay? Trim off the corners and then turn it inside out like that so that you have uh, the right side showing. the corners are out okay there you go now I'm going to go and give it a good press once the bib is done you are going to mark the midpoint of your skirt front inside as I have done here okay can you see where the pin is right and then you get your bib also mark the midpoint of the bib you see these are the two closed corners and this is the open end okay so you are going to do to get your bib match it with the skirt where the pin is like that and then pin it place Okay. Can you see the way I'm pinning it? Like that. Okay. Okay, now we are going to stitch it in place using a quarter of an inch sewing allowance. Okay, once you have done stitching here, you are going to press it in like I'm doing here, okay? And then bring the waist bend over. Can you see that? Right. Once the waist bend is over like this, you are going to reinforce, okay? You are going to stitch along the edge of the waist bend, right through, okay, all the way around, okay. In in that case, you will be uh, reinforcing the bib as well as uh, also making a decorative effect around your waist bend, okay. So you're going to edge stitch all the way around your waist bend to the end, okay. And the, the inside will be looking like that. Can you see? Okay. That's 
what I'm going to do now. This is the edge stitch I was talking about. Okay? All the way around the waist bit, as you can see. All the way around to the back. Okay? Right. Now, looks like we're almost there. The next thing now we are going to do is to attach the, the belts. Now, this is how we are going to attach the belts. Okay? Right. This belt is going to be catching the bead like that and then going to the back. So what you do is you fold, make a fold here, okay, and then get go inside matching this end of the bib inside the waist band, okay, inside the waist band like that. Can you see? And then you are going to stitch your waist band right there, okay? Right there. So that when you finish stitching, it's going to be looking like that, okay? And then you are going to put a button here, button hole there, and then you're going to fix it like that, okay? Can you see what I'm doing? Okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put the belt onto the uh, skirt. This is the finished pinnacle skirt, right? That's the back and the, this is the front. Okay? Right. I will just be finishing off the button holes, buttons and the hem and then I will put it on for you to see how it looks like. But that's the end of the video for now. Thank you very much for watching and may God richly bless you. Please give this video a thumbs up and share with people like-minded. Thank you.